morning, Seattle Hill parents. Hey, I know you've already heard from me this week, but before we head into the break, I just wanted to reassure you that we have um, extensive safety measures that we are planning and putting in place so that we can safely welcome your students back to our campus when it's time to do so. It does look like we will be in a position to have students come back at some point when we return from break. Um, and so right after the break, you will be asked to make a decision as to whether to keep your student in remote learning or send them to campus to have their learning here with us. And I just want you to know that we have extensive safety measures in place for that to happen in a safe and comfortable manner for students and for adults. That includes, of course, the attestation process that you already know about. If somebody does arrive without an attestation having been completed at home or without a mask, we'll complete that attestation and, and give a student a mask. Um, when you do have your students come to school, if you choose to do so, we have some things in place that are going to be different, but again, we're doing it to create a situation where we have little to no risk of transmittal. And so we'll be receiving students from cars, uh, asking parents to stay in your vehicle. If you're walking your student, we will receive those students at the entrance to the parking lot up near 51st, just so that we have minimal adults on um, our campus. We have created situations all throughout the day to avoid students being less than six feet apart from one another for more than 15 minutes because those, those things are key in uh, reducing transmittal as well as, yes, wearing a mask. Your student will have to wear a mask. So we've eliminated um, lines in the lunchroom. Students will be able to just come right in. Uh, they will be seated six feet apart, only three kids at our very large lunch tables, and they'll be assigned seats. So no one but your child will sit in that seat uh, on any given day. We have uh, put the, the process of cohorting into place. So either classroom cohorting or grade level cohorting. We typically have two or more grade levels in the lunchroom at any one time. And initially that won't be the case. We will have only one grade level in the lunchroom at any one time. So you can see how few students will occupy any one space. We'll have only one grade level out at recess to start with at any one time. We will have far more adults supervising at recess just so we can be sure to help kids learn how to navigate um, being at recess safely. We have extensive cleaning measures and once students arrive those will even be uh, more heightened than they already are. We have hand sanitizer stations all throughout our building. You can hardly walk, uh, you know, 20 feet before you see another hand sanitizer station. We have a school-wide method for uh, having kids use the restroom and wash their hands throughout the time that they're with us. Now, that doesn't mean if your child needs to use the restroom, they have to wait for the schedule. That's not at all what I'm saying but we have those things built into the day, which will help. Um, our ventilation system received, received a complete overhaul this summer. All of our filters have been upgraded to COVID standard. Our portable classrooms, uh, their filters have also been upgraded and they've also uh, put air purifiers in the portables. And these are high powered air purifiers that will filter the entire room air every 30 minutes. So it's continually being filtered throughout the day. Uh, we do have a process in place for uh, caring for students if they are showing COVID related symptoms. Please understand that if your child appears to be sick, you will be asked to come as soon as possible to pick, pick up your child. And that's for your child's best interest, but also the best interest of the adults and the other students that are, are here at school. So, um, like I said, this wasn't meant to give you every detail 
of uh, what we're planning and what we're putting in place. But we did want you to know that we are looking very strategically at every time frame throughout the day. So that, as I said, it can be a comfortable, uh, safe environment for those of you who do choose to send your students back to school. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday vacation and here's to 2021 and hopefully the uh, refreshing changes that the new year can bring. So you will hear from uh, us more extensively after the break. We'll provide you many more details. As always, let us know if you have a question or a concern and we love your students and your families and we can hardly wait to get to a time where everybody can be back at school and feel safe and comfortable. All right, thank you so much. <laughs>